Reporting in progress. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome everyone to a regular session of Gopendale City Council for August 16, 2021. Would you be able to get the roll call? You can see people that are on that screen. Um, Island here. Andy here. Ellie here. Oh, good. Dave here. Darlene here. I don't see Bill or Lauren's numbers on here. Okay. We'll need a motion to excuse them. They may show up within five minutes, but that's what happened last time. Can we have a motion to excuse them? I also approve, Mayor, that we excuse them. Okay. I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded to, to excuse Lauren Mager and Phil Ontiveros, uh, council members of the city council, uh, from participating tonight. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. We'll go on now. We don't have a public hearing. We need another, a uh, motion on the agenda and the consent agenda. So moved. I'll second. We have a motion to approve the agenda and the consent <coughs> agenda. Any discussion or any questions before we call for a vote? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> Thank you. And Connie, if you can uh, kind of let me know if those two members show up. We can... I, I will. Okay. We'll go on now to department reports. We'll begin with Jay Hansiker, our chief of police. Well, a few items to pass on. Uh, we're still applying for the uh, Department of Justice grant uh, for the body-worn cameras and it also comes in a package of uh, taser uh, from a company called Axon. Um, we have received a body camera and taser uh, for a 30-day trial to see if we want it along with all the documentation. We're waiting for them to uh, get us a temporary uh, program to where we can log into it and stuff like that. No cost, this is just so it all works so we can test the equipment out and see if we're going for that. So we have that now, it's uh, uh, quite complex and pretty, pretty nice <laughs> stuff. Um, so uh, our administra my administrative assistant, Maria Hutchins, she's putting together the final numbers for the DOG grant. D D -O -J grant. Um, because they want a breakdown of everything instead of just one big package. So we're, we're working on getting that from Axon. Our, our newest officer is at the Equivalency Academy. Today was his first day uh, for a two-week course to get him certified to the state of Washington. He's coming along very well in the field training program and he's, he's going to work out great. And also our Sergeant Lucatero, he is, today was his first day in his first level supervision class, which he's doing uh, uh, over the computer virtual setting. So, but that's all I've had. Good. Good. That's all you have, Chief? That's all I have. Okay. okay. Stephen, for Goldendale Fire Department. Uh, for the Fire Department, um, I, I didn't bring much to report. I, I did want to bring up that uh, we're always looking for volunteers. Uh, we're short-handed. And so we're always looking for somebody or anybody. I mean, okay. come on down Monday nice. Good. Well, people will know. Volunteers are needed. Good. Always. That's testing. The fire department is doing a great job staying ahead of <coughs> some of the issues that come up with this dry weather. Thanks, Stephen. And I understand Doug Fenton was on from Public Works Division Department. Doug? Can you all hear me? Yes. Okay. I don't have a bunch to report tonight. Um, mostly our Lovely little thunderstorm that came through a week ago. We've been having street light issues, and I 
we got them fixed, or the QD did, and I believe they got hit again, so um, hopefully those will be back up and running soon. Um, we've been doing asphalt work, trying to get some of the potholes and work streets tended to. Um, a little bit of work in the watershed. And also, it's not necessarily a report, but um, it's coming time to order flower seeds again for the flowers that we've been hanging in the baskets. And I know there's been a lot of discussion of keeping them or them going away, and I'd, I'd like some guidance from the council on, on what direction we're going to go with that because it's, it's coming time in the next couple weeks. It actually, That's about all I got. Thank you, it actually wouldn't be a bad idea following up on what Doug just asked. I think so, because it's a very committee. timely thing. I think it might be a good idea for the budget committee to meet okay. and talk about those issues. Because he's going to need to know this is the time that they order flower seeds. And then he puts them in his, Ron puts them in his shop and nurtures them and keep, gets them up and going. So we need to let him know one way or the other early on. Very good. So I think it might be a good idea to have a budget committee maybe in two weeks. I need to see if this is Phil. Phil, are you on there? Not his number. Yep, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So we could either have it uh, a week from Monday or uh, or maybe two weeks from Monday. You're on the budget committee, yep. and I, I think you are. Yeah. Would next Monday be better, or actually, it'd be better for me in two weeks. I'll do whatever. Yeah, it works for two weeks. Yeah, all on the same night would be great. Raj, no, we don't have council meeting. We don't have council meeting. Yeah. Oh, we don't have the council meeting. It'll be the, 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 week yeah. it'll be the oh. fifth Monday of oh. the month. Yeah. yeah, that works for me. Sure. Okay. And will that be enough time to get them ordered and get the, the seeds he needs? Or it'll be enough time for us to give him an answer. Oh, okay. He needs to order the seeds or not. So what's the date? Thirty uh, looks like. August thirty. The 30th. Okay. 7 o'clock for that or? 7 p.m.? Whatever's best for you guys. That works for me. Yeah. What time? 7. 7. Is Phil on that committee? And just FYI, Larry, I'll be in training in Bellingham, I believe, that Monday. Oh, well, then maybe we should do it the Monday before. That, that would work better. The quicker the better. The 23rd. Okay, switch it to the 23rd. Okay. Good thing I changed this calendar. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> 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 You're crazy. Why not work this in June? I didn't want to ask for the 23rd, but that worked out really well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember who's on the budget committee. I am. No, I am. And I forget with all the changes and stuff. Phil, are you on the budget Lauren? committee? Phil. It could be Lauren. I thought it was Lauren. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll touch base with him. Okay. I'm sorry, what's committee? The budget. Uh, I'll have the list here. But it'll be on the 23rd of August at 7 p.m. Monday night. Very good. Thanks, everyone. We'll get hey, that one I out. have a question for Doug before he goes. Um, sure. The lights on the west end of town, the street lights, are they going to come back on anytime soon? I only caught part of that. Was that the question about the street lights on yeah. the west side of town? Yeah. Yeah. Are they going to come back uh, on soon? Uh, the PUD is, is working on that, trying to figure out where they popped, what raker popped. Um, I haven't heard back from them yet, but I know we had them on for a couple nights and then that came through and tripped whatever had tripped or something else. And hopefully they'll be back on sooner than later. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Doug.
Anything else to ask of public works? If not, we'll go on to uh, resolutions. This is, did you have anything before that? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, could, we'll be talking about the Department of Ecology Financial Assistance Agreement. And if you recall, we had a motion on the floor, and then that motion was tabled, but it's still on the floor. So, and that was to pass the proposal uh, for the uh, offer made by the uh, Department of Ecology on financial assistance, the $4 million loan. So with that, we... Okay, I have Eric Smith on the line, and he can update us on Very good. what has occurred since the last council meeting. We, did, we were given some direction to find out some more information and he can update us on that. So we'll go ahead, Eric. Yeah, can you hear me okay? Yes. Great. Um, yeah, the question was at the last council meeting and at the Public Works Committee was about um, looking into Ecology's emergency loan assistance program, which provides up to uh, half a million dollars in loan um, at a 0% interest rate. Um, we didn't know exactly what the requirements were for that or how Ecology would look at that. So I reached out to them after the last council meeting, um, offered to set up a conference call with them and a couple of um, council members, but they basically came back and said, just directly to me, and, and said that, uh, or I think we, myself and Larry were included on the email, that this really didn't fall under, in their opinion, um, the requirements uh, for emer their emergency funding program. And that was primarily because this has been an issue that's been uh, known about, specifically the Sludge Lagoon, uh, Salt Handling Lagoon. The bubbles have been known about for some time. You know, a facility plan was done to, that um, recommended a solution to address the problem. And um, uh, they, he mentioned that, you know, the ecology has a funding offer that's in place for this. And so, in, 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 uh, in their eyes, this wasn't really going to uh, pass muster for, a, for an emergency loan assistance through their program. Um, they did, he did say one other, I guess, um, point of clarification about your loan, and that was that, um, he said, you know, I understand the city's trying to, you know, find more grant funding and, and, and maybe doesn't want to use $4 million in loan to do the whole project right now. But for instance, if you were to take an emergency loan and just do the screw press portion, do something temporary to get deal with the most immediate need, he said the loan could be, this $4 million loan could be used in that regard as well. He said, you're still agreeing to the $4 million loan package, but you may only do a portion of the work right now. So say you only do a million dollars worth of work. He said you can restructure your loan agreement um, and reduce the uh, payback period if you want to reduce the interest rate. So if you go down to a, from a 20 year payback down to a five year term, it would reduce it to like half a percent. So not 0% like an emergency loan offer would be, uh, but it was another um, iteration, I guess, on funding that we haven't considered that um, he, he, he mentioned to us. So, um, otherwise, that that was all the new information that I've got uh, about this up at this time. So. Uh, question, please. Go ahead. Uh, question from uh, Dave Jones, Eric. Yeah. Okay. Help me with some numbers, please. Um, so, one of the hangups on accepting the four million dollar loan is that the interest rate is 1.2 percent compared to the emergency one where it could be zero percent but we get a two hundred thousand dollar grant for accepting the loan over the course of 20 years how much interest are we paying on four million dollars because you told me this the other day Sixty-five thousand dollars, about. I think I ran the numbers when we were talking about a zero percent interest at uh, for five hundred thousand. But uh, let's just one point two percent over twenty years. Pull up in a calculator here. Real quick. It's less than two hundred thousand dollars, much less. Yeah. 
Uh, over 20 years, 1.2% on 4, 4 million is uh, nominally 500,000 total interest. 500,000 total interest? Total interest, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I was just, I had a numbers question there. Thank you. Yep. Any other comments or questions? I had one question, Mayor. If, uh, say later on, when the Congress pass, officially passes the stimulus bill, which could be late this uh, fall, December, maybe even the first of the next year, and we're able to get some of the stimulus money to pay off this loan, then would we be able to uh, reduce the $10 fee for each individual who has uh, water to the residents? Is, it, is that a question for me? Yes. 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 Yeah. Um, so I guess I should make a point of clarification here. The $10 a month uh, was a, just a nominal calculation where we took the, the loan repayment for 20 years at 1.2% and divided it out by the number of sewer connections you have right now. And that came out to be around $10, which is like $9.50 a month or something. So that was just what we figured was the worst case if you didn't have any financial capacity with any of your existing rates to cover this, um, that, that a ten dollar a month ad would be the nominal ad on top to, to add this loan on top of your current current uh, debt services and other expenditures. Um, if you were to get grant money, what would happen is you'd use that grant money for the project and you just wouldn't take the full loan amount. So your rate increase for less loan, less payback would, would be uh, uh, decreased uh, proportionately. Um, so you could you could say that if you took if, if four million dollars equated to a ten dollar a month uh, increase, two million dollars might equate to a five dollar a month increase. The one caveat on that is that, um, and, and Lauren astutely pointed out that. You know, in the near term, it would make sense to do have a financial analysis done by a, a consultant to do a do a rate study, and what they would look at there is your current revenue, your expenditures, any debt service that's going to be retiring in the near term, uh, to basically try and find out if potentially your existing rates, which you've raised here recently, have some capacity to buffer a increase for for new funding, or if you need to. Um, fully increase your rates, for instance, for, for that kind of calculation that I did. So um, that would be something that I would recommend. And it could be done with your, you know, the loan package money to hire a financial consultant right off the bat and do a rate study. But um, but yes, you are correct that if you use grant money to offset loan money, it will, should offset the rate increase proportionally. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah. Any other comments or questions? And that rate study actually should go be referred to the budget committee as well. Yeah. To take a look at what that's going to cost and if they want to go ahead and put that together. And as Eric said, can be part of the reimbursable fund. The funds Check. can be used to reimburse that cost from the DOE loan. Yeah, that it wasn't specifically spelled out in our funding package that you were going to do a rate study as uh, was funded, uh, but it's it's part of it, it's it's a normal thing. I think it's it, it's uh, there's not I call it, you would not have any issue with you funding your rate study out of the funding package. So I'm, I'm very confident that that could be done with reimbursable funds. How long ago we had a rate study done? I don't remember when we did. Quite a while back, okay. That's what it's all. Well, Council, there's a situation here. We, we have a motion on the table. It was it was table. Do we want to... Uh... I'll just kind of reiterate why I made that motion in the first place. And, you know, right here is the plan. Yep. Uh, as proposed by the marketing team we hired, RH2. It's obviously signed off on by the Department of Ecology because they want to loan us the money to do this plan. They're uh, giving us 
a grant of two hundred thousand dollars, you know, to go forward with this now. To me, it's a, you know, it's the bird in the hand. We got the bird in the hand right here. Uh, we know this stuff all needs done. You know, the lagoon is needs done right now. Yeah. You know, as soon as possible. We got to be on board with the Department of Ecology to avoid problems. You know, with fines could kill us if we don't get on board and do Absolutely. the right thing here. Absolutely. It's not just the lagoon either. You know, it's the the grit removal system. Everything in this plan is what needs done. You know, it. You know, Eric, is this still the recommended plan? That's why I, that's what I'm going to vote for. Council, so what do we we say either yes or no now? Is that well, I think you need to go ahead and the, the, the time the time to accept this loan is now, isn't it? Uh, how much more time do we it have? It is now because yeah. the thing is if, if I, I thought a lot about this. Yeah. Because I know there was a reluctance to, to take a loan, but at the same time, if we didn't take it and then we didn't get the funding, we would really be in a bad spot. Exactly. We wouldn't have anything. This way we, we got to the end of this out of the way. If we get extra That's money, not. it'll help to relieve the debt. Yeah. 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 Why has this been so long? I mean, why have 19 years you guys, Andy said you guys been pushing us around for 19 years? I don't know about 19 years, but I know since I've been on here, there's been issues with, we always talked about doing updates to the treatment plant, so. You can say in the last couple of years, I know we've had issues. Bad. You can say why and, and why yeah. all you want, but yeah. that doesn't do anything to solve the problem that we're faced with. Yeah. Exactly. But I think yeah. I think we need to to figure out what the water, how much the water bill is going to go around for the community too, though. I mean, how much is going to go up? Well, I think that's a big thing for. for I mean, I, I agree with that, but at the same time, we're we've already pushed this out another a month and a half. We can't keep pushing this out further. Well, we got a pretty good idea. I mean, yeah. Eric kind of mapped it nine. out for us. Yeah, you know, nine, ten dollars, and nine fifty. Maybe there's things we can do in the meantime to make that less. If we hustle with grants and everything, I don't know. But this is the bird in the hand we have right now. This is the hand we're dealt. Yep. This is the hand we have to take care of. So I think you should, if you're going to make a. A motion, the motion would be to adopt, authorize the mayor to execute, uh, let's see. Right, like we started before. Yeah. We started yeah. the motion on the floor? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. Did does it bring up the old motion? Yeah. Or yeah, is we it, did. do we have yeah. to make a new motion? That was on the, that was, there was a motion on the floor. And then it was and they tabled. made a motion to table the motion, so the, the first motion is still on the floor. Okay, so we have a first and a second to uh, approve and pass Resolution 719. Right. Which is accepting the award of a $4 million loan and the $205,500 forgivable principal for design and construction of the items listed. In the scope of work on the agreement, agreement with the Department of Ecology. And with that, we would be following instructions from the council as far as uh, to go ahead with this move. Do we need to redo the motion or can we? They just need to vote yeah. now. Okay, we just need to vote on what's existing, whether we accept to do the loan or not. And the final thing I'll say about it is. The professionals that made up this plan, they've signed off on it. They know it's the best thing to do. All of our city workers know it's the best thing to do. Right. So it's our obligation to make it happen. Did you say all in favor? Is that what you need to do? That's, that's, if there's no more discussion or questions, we'll go ahead and vote. All in favor of accepting this uh, $4 million Emergency financial uh, assistance agreement from uh, Department of Ecology. No, no, not emergency. Not emergency. Not emergency. Yeah. We weren't eligible for it. They said. Oh no! It said department. I was misread the, the title up there. But if we have a motion to accept that proposal from the Department of of Ecology, all in favor? 
Aye. 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 Bill? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Any opposed? They all agree. Motion is unanimous. Great job, folks. Great job. I think it's the most prudent path for us to follow on this matter. Appreciate everybody's cooperation and great job, Dave. Thank you. Re rebuilding the fire. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the next item on the agenda is uh, uh, has to do with the uh, Bible Baptist Church rezone proposal, and Larry will present the details on that. And thank you, Eric Smith, for a great job. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks, Eric. Okay, I'm going to make this really simple. The Bible Baptist Church and, and the developer, Nam Sun, wish to remove three main, uh, three single wide mobile homes on the back side of the Bible Baptist Church property, which has actually already yeah. happened, and they would like to replace it with three new duplex units for a total of six to six additional units there on that property. The, if you look at page five after the agenda bill, it has the title Bible Baptist Church Rezone, you'll see that the, this property is right at the edge of existing R2 zoning, and that's that bold red line that goes from north to south, and then the shaded uh, diagonal red hatching is what would be changed from general commercial C2 to two-family residential R2. Then if you look at page number seven, which is a couple more, You'll see that basically the C2 zoning, the application follows C2 zoning and designates that in its C2 zone, if you're using it for a residential use, it must comply with the R3 development standards. And R3 development standards require a lot to be a minimum of 7,500 square feet. In this case, they're requesting it to be 6,000, which is allowed in an R2. So all we're doing is changing the zone from R C2 to R2. R2. And that's so all. general commercial to two-family residential. Okay. I think it'll be a great addition and improvement to our community. And I would recommend that we adopt the ordinance number, number. Everybody oh, has a wrong one. Um, 1508 is the ordinance number. 1508? Oh, there it is in the bottom of the motion. Ordinance number 1508. All right. So the, we would recommend that the council adopt an ordinance to accept the planning commission findings of fact and to change the zoning from C2 to R2 and waive the second reading. Are there comments or questions on this? We need to do a so move, so. That'd be fine. Yeah, so move, so. Okay. Yeah. It's been, I think a second. Second. Okay. It's been moved and seconded to adopt ordinance number 1508 by applicant Bible Baptist Church to rezone from general commercial C2 to two family residential R2, waiving the second reading. If there's not questions or discussion, we will vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? I'm not sure I heard all the votes, but I'm calling it as a unanimous vote. I didn't hear Phil's vote. Yeah. Did we have a nay vote? I don't think no. we did. No, and he didn't There see. was an aye for Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Phil. So the motion passes unanimously. This will be quite an improvement to this part of town.
The next item on the agenda is a report of officers and city administrator. We'll begin with Larry. Okay, I just wanted to confirm that we're meeting with the Budget Committee on the 23rd. Mm -hmm. And the items that we talked about addressing would be this discussion about whether or not to continue with the flower, flower maintenance and the order seeds. We'll talk about rate steady. We'll talk about sewer rates. And to report back to Council on some of that discussion. And I wanted to see, is Dustin still on, and does he have anything to report? I don't, I don't see him. Is he down there? Is Dustin Conroy? Oh, that's Phil, and that's Doug. Okay, I guess we're good. So you're done. Any questions or comments for Larry? If not, we'll have a... Well, maybe I do, if I can make sure. sure. Yeah, thank you, Mayor. Uh, Econi Park, is there anything new on that? Are we going to be able to do something this fall? Oh, Econi Park. That's a good question. Yeah, well, I, I understand. don't know the answer to that. But that's okay. I just thought <laughs> I'd bring it up. We've got some time left, and so I just thought I'd... Yeah, we'll probably we'll wait till it gets a little cooler. Oh, yes, yes. Because the outside work, such as the asphalt, the mm -hmm. holes, and yeah. going up to the mountains, those are best done when, mm -hmm. when it's warmer outside. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll talk about it some more and see if we can't come up with some plans. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. We'll go on with council uh, reports. We'll begin with Andy Hom. I got two things for Jay, actually. Uh, first thing is, um, we were in your last meeting, but uh, the prior event, we felt there was a presence of police around. They go around and it was appreciated by all the people that attended. Uh, second thing is um, to relay on to all the officers how much they are appreciated here in town. Um, I spoke to a number of them and with all the new laws and all the things going on in our country, I just think they need to know that. I think I can probably speak for all of us that they are very much appreciated. Sure. So, yep. yes, yes. I'll pass it on. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Good. Thanks, Andy. Uh, Mine. Uh, Oh, we were previously we were talking about the flowers. Now this is just my personal opinion. Uh, I know it's costly to have the flowers, but a lot of work has been done to keep them going. They do a good job, and uh, I personally would like to make a recommendation to the budget committee that really seriously look at keeping the flowers. That's my that's my opinion. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's all I have. Okay. Thanks, uh, Lauren. No, Phil. Okay, Phil? I don't have anything. Okay, we'll go to Ellie. I don't have anything. Dave. Thank you. Um, hey, I was just going to say I'm really looking forward to the fair this year. You know, we missed out on it last year, and uh, just thanks to everybody who uh, worked so hard to make that happen. and. Uh, Really looking forward to that. That's all I had. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Great weather for a fair. Yes. Yeah. Darlene? No, I don't have anything. Oh, my goodness, what a I quiet know. group. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little bit, but I have a feeling it's already been re responded to. We got a very nice card uh, from the, uh, it's the uh, community uh, church at. Uh, let me make sure I got the right community. Centerville. Centerville. Centerville, yes. Uh, and the, the prayer leader was Guy Terrio, who used to serve here as a city council member. But they've been praying for the city council and the work that you do, both the recognition of the importance of your work and also the, the hope that you do well in it. And I think by the speed that you went through, two very crucial decisions. <laughs> you did great. So, that's, that's it, and uh, I'll pass this around anybody wants to see it, but I thought it was very thoughtful for the, for the group in Centerville to uh, talk about the fact that uh, they were thinking of the things that the city's council is trying to do to uh, get city business uh, carried out. With that, we'll go to public comment. Anyone on the line or here for a public comment? You guys.
guys are on a roll. <laughs> if there are no public comments, then we need a motion to close the meeting. So moved. Second. Second. Oh, go ahead. It's been moved and seconded to uh, adjourn to the council for uh, August 16th, and our next meeting will be September 7th, 2021. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Recording stopped.